Do you want to know which brawlers are coming in the next Brawl Stars update? Well, I've got some pretty good guesses, and so we're going to go ahead and cover six brawler concepts that could possibly be added into Brawl Stars that I, I think is pretty good chance we'll have something similar to it. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Now today we're going to be taking a look at some brawlers that I think are very likely to be added into the game. Now when I say that, I don't mean that these specific brawler concepts that I'm going to be talking about will be added into the game, but more so than that, I'm going to be taking a look at the types of brawlers that currently are missing from Brawl Stars that I think would only be a natural step for Brawl Stars to actually start implementing into the game to try and add some more diversity to it. For example, guys, we already have two brawlers that are kind of like shotgunners that have like a roll or a charge, and we also have a couple of long range sniper type brawlers, but we don't have any brawlers that create walls or brawlers that actually pull brawlers to them, or even like a brawler that transforms into like a beastly creature that kind of goes crazy on people when they have their super. These are the kinds of brawlers that I'm going to be talking about that I think could add more depth to Brawl Stars, and I seriously would not be surprised if we saw some brawlers very similar to these in the next coming Brawl Stars update. That being said, make sure you subscribe so that I can give you the information on actual new brawlers that will be coming to Brawl Stars as soon as I'm able to give that to you guys. Okay, now for today's video, we're going to start with some the more basic brawlers. We'll start off with a starting brawler, and I'm actually going to do one from every single rarity, okay? So we'll start with a, a basic starter brawler, then we'll actually move up to a rare, then a super rare, then an epic, then a mythic, and then a legendary brawler concept which you're definitely gonna want to stick around for that one because I think it's a pretty sweet idea now the first brawler concept that it, I think Brawl Stars is missing is a kind of brawler that actually offers support to their teammates through buffs rather than through healing that brings up to my first suggested brawler and that is going to be Rosa a support brawler starting at 4,000 trophies as a starter brawler that you get from those trophy league rewards. Now Rosa would have a medium amount of HP, her movement would be regular, her attack would be where Rosa strums her guitar which fires off of sound waves that will damage the brawlers that are caught by it. Very similar to Poco's attack but it would actually be longer than Poco's attack by like one to two tiles but in a narrower cone so it goes further in a shorter amount. But it wouldn't quite be as long as like Bow's attack. Now her damage output would be very low, similar to Poco's, and her super, what makes her special, because um, that's pretty similar to what we already have, what makes Rosa special is that she would spin and twirl as she dances, which boosts morale of teammates that are within a radius of around her for a short period of time. Maybe like a six or seven tile radius for three to five seconds. She and teammates within that radius would gain a 5% buff to their movement speed, to the damage that they deal, and a 5% decrease to the damage that they actually receive during that time frame. Now 5%, even on all three of those areas, won't actually change very much in the interactions with Brawl Stars, and so my recommendation for her is to actually have a very quick super recharge so that she can use it really frequently. Currently Poco charges up his super in about in 5 hits, and Rosa would charge up hers in 3 or maybe even 4 hits. Additionally, for her star power, Rosa would passively charge her super up 2% every second so that she can actually use her super more frequently to help, help actually be a benefit to her team. By the way, for the artwork in this video, I am putting links to all of those in the description below, so if you do like what you see, make sure you follow the link to support the artist or the anime that created it. Now the next type of brawler that I think is missing from Brawl Stars that would be a very cool brawler concept for Brawl Stars to actually put into the game is an actual defensive tank. Right now we have kind of like tanks and things like that, like a Primo, uh, Frank is kind of a tank, you know, but none of them are actually supportive on a defensive level. For my brawler suggestion, I'm thinking of a brawler named Bolt, who would be a robot guardian. Now I kind of have like a, a Gundam type artwork style below me, you can ignore that if you want. I'm more actually imagining a brawler that is more similar to like Barley or Ricochet, but like a tanky armored version of them with like maybe some big heavy bolts as armor or something like that. Now Bolt would be a rare brawler, um, his HP would be highest, tied with El Primo and Frank, and maybe even a little bit higher. Now. Where this is going to be interesting, unlike El Primo and Frank who actually have an above average move speed, I think he should have a, a, a below average move speed, 50 less than normal. Now for his attack, he would actually have a ranged attack, uh, which I think is justified due to the fact that he is actually so slow. 
they would shoot out little bolts or something like that um, in a long-ranged fashion, similar to like Penny's attack or even including like Penny's range. The damage output would be very low, kind of similar to Poco's attack, but for his super, Bolt would raise up his gun into the air and use it to cast a protective shield in a large radius around him for like five seconds. I'm kind of thinking like the Grand Warden in Clash of Clans where friendly brawlers within that radius cannot receive any damage during that time frame but the enemy team can receive damage. Now shots may be fired in and out of this protective barrier and Bolt may not attack during this time frame but his teammates could. Additionally, to make it a little bit more balanced, I think that it's only fair that stuns or pulls or even knockbacks would still have an effect. They just wouldn't actually deal damage to the brawlers being caught inside that uh, that protective shield. Additionally, brawlers would be totally fine to move in and out of the protective area as they please. Once the five seconds are up, he lowers down his gun and he is ready to go back to firing off against enemy brawlers. For his star power, friendly brawlers within the shielded area would heal a very small amount while within the circle. Okay guys, up next we we are missing a brawler that will actually like throw something out and pull them in. This is kind of a common type of brawler that we have in a lot of different other types of MOBAs and I absolutely think that Brawl Stars will add something like this at least in the future eventually. My suggestion, I'm thinking of a brawler named Hook. Okay, now Hook would be a pirate. He'd kind of like fit in with the same type of art style as like Penny um, and kind of even like Daryl as well. And then what he does is he actually uses an anchor to actually pull people in which for his super which would be really cool okay so he'd be a super rare brawler he would have hp similar to like bull and then for his movement speed it would be similar to like bull like a medium movement speed now for his attack he'd actually have like a hook hand and for his attack it would be like a melee range type of a thing where he just like swipes with his hook in some type of like an arc pattern or something like that now his damage would be similar to mortises but a longer animation time so that he doesn't have like very much burst potential ideally he should be able to solo low hp brawlers who do get hooked but he should also rely on teammates to help tankier brawlers that actually get hooked and pulled in or something you know situations like that now for a super he would throw out to out an anchor in a line that will pull an enemy brawler to him within range of his regular attack and then for his star power he would stun them when they land on him so that he has just an extra little bit of a second before they can actually start trying to run away now another attribute that i absolutely think should be added into the game at least some point or another is that brawl stars does not currently have any type of like a stealth brawler or like a brawler that can go on to like unexpected sneak attacks which i i think that would be an awesome addition to brawl stars suggestion is slash the invisible ninja with artwork kind of similar to like terra's now he would actually use a sword for his regular attack he would be an epic brawler his hp would be similar to mortis his movement speed would actually be the fastest it would be similar to mortises and crows and then for his attack he would quickly slash out twice with his sword in an x pattern uh, in front of him his range would be somewhere between El Primo's punch and a bull attack, so not quite five tiles like bull's attack, not quite three tiles like El Primo, maybe four tiles, somewhere in the middle there. And then his damage would be similar to Mortis with high burst damage potential but low consistent damage potential. For his super, he would actually go invisible for up to five seconds, four or five seconds, where he would then be able to go undetected by enemy brawlers unless he actually gets hit by an enemy brawler or he actually attacks. In that situation, it would be very similar to what happens when a brawler is in a bush, where if they attack or they get hit for just a split second, you can see where they're at, and then they kind of go back into invisibility. Additionally, when he goes invisible, he would gain 50 movement speed to help him sneak up on enemy brawlers. For reference, 50 movement speed is the same as like Crow is 50 movement speed faster than Bull, who is 50 movement speed faster than Nita. Now for Slash's star power, when he goes invisible, his sword would actually become laced with poison and he would deal additional damage over time for the next few seconds similar to crow now we have brawlers that can kind of control the field and you know put down like spike can control an area and terror can like pull people and things like that but we do not have a brawler that can legitimately put down a wall to stop brawlers from moving in a specific direction or to protect teammates from getting hit i could absolutely see supercell putting in a brawler that does something similar to this in Brawl Stars. Suggestion for a brawler is going to be Flower. Now Flower is a female counterpart to Spike, also kind of a cactusy brawler. He's no longer alone, guys, but instead she'd have a big flower on the blooming on the top of her head or something like that. Now she would be a mythic 
Brawler. So pretty rare, not super easy to get on the same rarity level as Terra or uh, Mortis. And she would have low HP just like Spike. Her movement speed would be normal just like Spike's. And her attacks would actually also kind of be similar to Spike, but it'd be different because they would actually be thrown similar to Dynamite's and Barley's. But then when they land, that is when they burst out similar to Spike's regular attacks. Her range would be slightly shorter than Barley's and Dynamite's, but also longer than Spike's, and then her damage would actually be slightly less than Spike's. Now, here's where things get really fun and exciting. For her super, she would create a wall of flowering cactuses that physically block the movement path for all brawlers, including friendly brawlers, for up to five seconds, and, and at that point, they would kind of disappear, similar to how Spike's super kind of like fades into the into the ground. Now, if enemy brawlers touch that wall, they would actually take damage for every half second that they touch it. And another feature would be that the wall actually could be broken before the timer is done if it was attacked by a super that does break walls like Colts or Dynamix. That way you could actually attack it if you needed to go on the defense and actually run away like the wall was trapping you from running away or something like that. Now, to choose where it appears, the cactus wall would actually be in the shape of kind of like a like a half moon, kind of like an arc or something like that with Flower, the brawler, always being on the inside of the moon. So it would kind of like be around like like that kind of a situation. The super would be thrown to a specific location within a radius of Flower, similar to how Barley or Dynamite would throw their supers or like Terra would throw her super. Then for her star power, friendly brawlers who touch the wall will actually heal a small amount of damage for every half second that they touch it. Kind of similar to Spikes, how he actually heals when he's within it, but it would be way less damage, and all friendly brawlers could actually be positively affected by it. Okay guys, now we're going to talk about the legendary brawler, and for this concept, Brawl Stars currently does not have a brawler that actually actively chooses to go on some type of like a rage mode or something like that, okay? Frank, he currently, when he picks up a skull, he then starts dealing slightly more damage when he has his star power, but no brawler currently chooses to go into beast mode. And I absolutely think that that would be a blast to play, and I think that Supercell should add something like that into Brawl Stars. Introducing Shaggy. The Fire Shaman, similar to how Nita is kind of like an Earth Shaman, he would be a Fire Shaman that has similar art style to Nita, but would actually wear a wolf outfit, okay? Shaggy, wolf, yeah, you can kind of get that right there. Now, he'd be a legendary brawler, his HP would be medium, and his movement speed would be normal. For his regular attack, he shoots out a fireball in a straight line that will cause enemies to burn over a period of time if they get hit. Very similar to Crow's super, but it would be slightly different once, uh, once we talk to his, about his star power. Now, his range would actually be slightly longer than Colt's, and the damage would be similar to Nita's, but it would be a thinner attack radius. So, a little bit longer than Colt's, low damage of Nita's attack. Now, for his super, he would transform into a raging melee wolf for up to five seconds, where he would then have a very fast movement speed. I'm thinking... 870, which is 50 faster than Crow, just to give you guys a little bit of a reference right there. And on top of that, he would have a very fast reload speed, where as that wolf, he's able to like quickly swipe out, or maybe he bites or something like that, but he gets up close to brawlers and he's able to attack very quickly while he's running around like crazy for those five seconds. As a side note, his regular wolf attacks would actually not apply burn and his HP would stay the same as when he's a regular brawler. So you actually have to be careful when using this super so that you do not actually like go up against a bull who's just gonna blast you in the face. Now for his star power, this is a really cool aspect. The burns that he actually applies when he hits enemy brawlers would actually start to stack damage. So this is kind of like the fire that stacks with Brock's star power, where if I get hit by three quick attacks then I receive three times the amount of burn damage, as opposed to Crow, who like, you just kind of refresh the stacks rather than actually applying more additional poison stacks. And then on top of that, guys, I can imagine a really sweet skin, similar to like Fire Crow, but like a Fire Wolf outfit that's just like flames and has some really cool like flaming action going on when he actually transforms into a wolf. I think that that would be legit. Anyways guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am for Brawl Stars to have their next update and I cannot wait to see what future brawlers they are going to be bringing to Brawl Stars. I would not do a video like this if I did not legitimately think that some of the principles that I talked about in today's video could actually be applied to future brawlers that are coming to Brawl Stars. And the brawler concepts that I came up with today would be really big game changers and actually adding depth to Brawl Stars and I'm really excited to see how adding new brawlers will actually do that. So I'm really excited. I definitely want to know 
which brawler is in today's video you guys like the most, so please let me know what you think. We got Rosa, the Spanish dancer. We got Bolt, the guardian robot. Hook, the pirate, slash the stealth ninja. Flower, the controlling cactus. And Shaggy, the fire wolf shaman. Additionally, guys, bonus idea for making it to this part of the video. I had this thought, or this idea, I didn't flesh out all the details here, but I had this thought of another addition to the Junker family, okay? So the daughter of Pam, the older sister of Jesse, and this would be a red-headed brawler that uses her super to build up a makeshift motorcycle that she can then use to actually control where she moves really, really fast for a few seconds as she charges around the map, wrecking havoc. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel in a ridiculously awesome way. If you're interested in becoming one of those, then you can definitely check the links in the description below for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.